Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, uh, good afternoon, good morning, everyone. How's everybody? Uh, it's good to see everyone coming in. Uh, we have great speakers lined up today. Uh, we have six speakers that we have uh, brought ourselves to come into this opening of our event. And uh, you can see the uh, speakers that we have lined up today. We have the Excellency, His, uh, His Excellency Mr. Isan Awud, which is going to give the opening speech, followed by uh, Dr. Hani Al-Mazidi, where we're going to also have another uh, speaker coming in, which is Dr. Mian Rias and uh, followed up by another professor, which is Dr. Susanna for the young generation in Hala industry. Uh, we also gonna have another presenter from Oman, Mrs. Mariam Salim Al-Rashi. And last but not least, we are gonna have engineer Basma Aziz also doing this uh, presentation. So without further ado, I would like to call upon yeah, uh, His Excellency, uh, Mr. Isan Ogwood, to give uh, his uh, speech today. Thank you. By all means, please uh, welcome His Excellency, Mr. Isan. Thank you, sir. Uh, from Turkey, good morning. Uh, good morning to you, His Excellency. Yes, good morning. Thank you very much. Bismillah uh, rahman rahim Distinguished participants, uh, dear brother and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, it is indeed a privilege for me to address you in uh, opening the session of the third virtual international conference, which will be held between 20 June, 27 June. 2021 under the topic of nurturing young talent in the global halal industry. I'm glad to see to see esteemed participants safe and sound. I'm also pleased to have the opportunity to give a brief introduction about SMIC, its approach to halal and what's happened, uh, what has been done to have unified halal standards. As you would all agree, halal industry was much less of concern before industrialization and globalization, which have radically changed the nature of the uh, of manufacturing and David the way for traveling the products and people all over the world. Halal certifying concept was primarily considered to be limited to meat, but gradually has expanded to all food, animal, food types, additives, test matters, clothing, pharmaceuticals, cosmetic, tourism, finance, agriculture, logistics, etc. Overall, all possible uh, aspects of Muslim life. To demand the needs and meet certain requirements, standardization has become a very essential com companion to the halal industry. As a matter of fact, Halal industry now obviously cannot be considered separately from standardization. This is what we are doing under SME. We bring halal and standardization together to have a professional system for halal by applying what has been done for age in standardization fields. Dear brothers and sisters, Muslims have waited so long for halal certification to be conducted in, in a transparent system by trustworthy organizations. However, in the past, halal was only limited to religious concept, and this was certainly a big mistake considering various technical aspects of halal. Additionally, it is in our responsibility to explain and uh, show halal, how halal should be handled as a technical issue to be supported and guided by Islamic rules. However, it is very disappointed to see that some people only care about halal food certificates, but not questioning or focusing on halal as a technical matter. For that reason, uh, at every platform, we try to demonstrate 
that halal is more than a mark or a logo. Halalness like a science, and it requires standards and expertise. Its consistency depends on accuracy of the test methods. If we fail to recognize this, this aspects, we can never move forward. In this regards, in, since uh, 2010, SMIC as an intergovernmental organization, as well as an OIC institution, has been given the task to, for, of developing for standards and achieving uniformity in, in laboratory testing, accreditation, confirmed assessment activities among member states. Developing has that not the only work of SELIC, but it's important to focus more to the technical aspect of halal. Over the last decade, halal industry has gone global, and we all have watched, watched and experienced how it occurred. And by witnessing its expansion, we became more accountable for our roles and tasks uh, as the actors of halal industry. And today I will explain CIMIC, CIMIC's approach to halal as a unity of 45 countries, which is working really hard in line with its new vision is creating a quality infrastructure that improves economy, welfare, and protects our member states. This vision also points that halal is a part of quality infrastructure. It is very significant to remind that standards are not fixed documents, but include Islamic rules. You can see it, halal is perceived as a technical issue. There of halal standards are developed within the uh, technical committees by experts of members and industry, as well as specialists from the International Islamic Fuk Academy of the OIC, which is the, our partner and important license to the relevant technical comments for Islamic rules in development standards. As of uh, 2021, we have 17 technical committees and com a committee uh, on standards for confirmed assessment established under CIMIC. What CIMIC uh, has done to unify the standards standard is reflected on outputs of these technical committees, which have their own title, scope, business and work, uh, business plan and work program, and con continuously uh, work and publish standards on various subjects. As you can see, there is an advanced system in CIMIC for preparing halal standards. Our standards are not the product of a country, one country, or st our standards do not reflect fatmas of a group or a, 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 a region. Our standards do not block trade activities among countries. On the contrary, CIMIC has been uh, and will be in the struggle for providing added value and trust to halal products and services with its high quality halal standards developed for production, certification, and accreditation. Till now, we have uh, till now we have all witnessed how the attempts and efforts efforts to replace confirmed assessment with country-based recognition system have been come becoming only a technical barrier to trade. Distinguished participants, I sincerely would like to ask what we are we are were aiming with halal and what we achieved during all those years. Halal needs professionally developed standards, and halal confirmed assessments can be strong, strong only if we have standards for each pillar to ensure the quality and reliability of whole system, whole system. Without joint international standards. Though without the joint internet standards developed for certification or accreditation, we cannot have a complete structure. And this will not take halal even uh, a little further. And by 2021, we have 16 published halal standards on product certifications, accreditation, cosmetics, gelatin, supply chain, tourism, food additives, confirmed assessment, management system and uh, service site, etc. There are also ongoing projects on halal and many fixed stuff, pharmaceuticals, as well as test methods, which is soon to be published for, for your use. All these topics require specific expert expertise and resources and cannot be useful if published by only a country. We need cooperation 
you certainly need accreditation as an essential element of confidence assessment. It is very unfortunate that country-based recognition concept was chosen our setting up a professional system. It is very clear that it did not work out well since the recognition is only serving to needs of a few countries. However, most of the Semitic member states have realized the importance of halal accreditation. And now accreditation according to why Semitic standards is initiated by national accreditation bodies of Semitic member states. And number of the accredited halal certifiers is expected to increase in the upcoming period, which is very good news for Muslims and attentive non-Muslims to consume reliable products are certified according to uh, OIC civic standards. Civic is seeing halal concept as a service to, to Ummah. We don't want halal to be, mon, mon, uh, to be a monopoly or a technical barrier. If halal is a must of, for all Muslims, then why limiting it, it or making it a problem when we have solutions uh, together? OIC civic, halal civic uh, standards are here and therefore your use since uh, last 10 years. So there is 